now that I have the bass arranged and the drums set up, it's time for me to start thinking about some other instruments. I want this to have some rock elements in it, so I want to add some guitar to this. I'm going to do this by adding a Rex guitar loop. I'm going to create a Dr. Rex player by right-clicking and selecting the Dr. Rex loop player. Now I'm going to click the Browse button, and I'm going to go into the Factory Sound Bank. Well, I'm already in there, so I'm just going to go up a couple folders. Yeah, I'm going to go into the Dr. Rex instrument loops, Guitar Loops, go down to uh, Telecaster, Rhythm 115, pull that down a little bit. Yeah, that one sounds good, so I'm going to select that. Since the guitar is only going over the chorus, I'm going to set the loop locators here. When you send the MIDI data to the sequencer, it's only placed between the left and right locators. That's actually a pretty handy feature because you don't want it to just go throughout the entire song. And now I'm going to play that back. Sounds wrong. It's not in the right key. So I'm going to go to the Dr. Rex player. And I'm going to transpose it down by a half a step. There we go. Now I'm going to preview that. All right. Now I'm going to uh, A, B the, uh, the pitch changes. See, you can hear the difference. All right. I'm going to play that back. All right, that's a good start. I'm going to name that track, and I'm going to name it Guitar. Rex loops are primarily used for drums, you know, but there are percussion and instrument loops that you can use in your songs. You can change the pitch without affecting the timing. You can alter the pitch of individual slices if you want to. I'm going to change the pitch of slice number one. Rex loops give you lots of room to play around with audio. I'll get back to this in more detail when we get into setting up the vocals in Narrow Escape, and I guarantee you that will blow your mind.